So today we are in Ludenville and they have a sky vol here which is the, the cable car there but that's closed at the moment so I'm going to try and do the same route on my e-bike so I'm going to start my Garmin from here and then I'm going to head up on the climb up to the trails the cable car is open from the middle of May until the middle of September and is only 26 euros a day you don't need to worry about water here because you can just fill up your bottles from these uh, from these spring water taps that are dotted around the town. There's a few technical steep sections on this climb where the e-bike definitely helps. certainly makes the climb easier when you've got views like that doesn't matter which way you look you've just got amazing views so coming to the village of Jume I hope that's how you pronounce it Right, let's have a look at the map and see where we're going. Our central Montan up here, I reckon. Well, look at that. I thought I'd got up to the uh, top, but then I just go back and then it looks like I join into the roads there. There's some road cyclists there. So uh, I'll just keep heading up. So I've hit the top of the trail. So this is the Skyval, Skyval top. So let's have a look. So it's taken me an hour to climb up here. It's 8.31 kilometers. Total ascent is 639 meters. There you go, midday. So we're uh, gonna have a quick drink and then we'll hit the trail. Right, let's go, Skyval. Oh, oh, this is some single track. Reminds me of Wales, west coast of Scotland. Oh, tight switch back through here. This is great. Ooh, up and over. <laughs> he put that there. Oh no, that's the walking trail. Crosses over. Oh, this is epic. I think I might need to, oh, you're breaking bumps. I think I might need to get the Skydio out and give that a test because this would be perfect for the Skydio. Wee. So first section down. Yeah, I can safely say this is going to be an epic ride.
after finishing the first part of the trail, I just had to stop and take in the amazing views. Then I headed down for some more epic enduro trails. The Enduro World Series have hosted several competitions here in Ludenbiel and it's well known as an epic mountain bike destination. This is a blue trail, so it's one of the easier trails here, but it's not an easy trail. It's like one of the blues at Bike Park Wales. Yeah, bike trail, let's go. We know we're going. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> Loose rock on here. Got to be careful with that. This is just flowy single track. drop off there we go it's, oh, starting to get a bit uh, spicy now there we go tabletop jump Switchbacks, another jump into a berm, a few breaking bumps. Oh, look, there's the lake. Wow, look at that! What a backdrop. No time to work. check it out though. Cool. This is. Oh, those braking bumps are bad. Woo! Whoa. <sighs> yeah. I think you've just got to trust your tyres, get them over on the side. Well, this is pretty hardcore, this. For me, anyway. Let the berms do their job. Come in and then lean the bike over, get some grip. Oh, look at these braking bumps, man. Yep, I can see the, uh, see the route that people are taking. Right, into the forest then. We've got the... Uh, Let's go to get down, so... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> These are way well and truly uh, worn, these trails. But it's the end of the season, so it's what, what I expected. Oh, into the forest. Now, oh, it looks like we go uh, up the road now. Oh. It's 
I don't think it's down there. Oh, maybe it is. You would have thought it'd be signposted there, wouldn't you? No, here we go. Here it is. Here we go. It's pretty steep. Not sure if the GoPro is showing you that, but yeah, these little sections are pretty steep. Little oh, jumps and oh well, yeah, look at these bad boys. Fuck it, let's do the red, why not? Oh, I might regret that decision. No, it would be alright. Cool. No. This red is a full on red. Especially with all these braking bumps. Oh. Holy shit. Oh well, it's not far now. Yeah, I think I might do the blue next time. That's what happens when you get overconfident. Oh, well, I'm hoping this is going to be the rest of the blue. I think it is. I think that was just a little red section. It was quite hardcore. Yeah, it certainly uh, makes you think about your skill levels when you come down here because Whoa, these are full on. This can't be the blue. No, it can't. But so I think I'm still on the red. Whoa. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's just worn out or whether I'm just rubbish. But these are pretty full on. You've really got to pick your line going down here. Oh, this is better now. Blue. Yep. I think I'll carry on down the blue. I mean, the blue looks hard enough. Whew. Well, 
I'm sure these are good training for Ainsa but I think I'll be definitely going down the blues in Ainsa if this is anything to go by I mean don't get me wrong this is an amazing trail but I would say it's right on the limit of my skill oh, these are pretty full on to be fair which is great don't get me wrong which is really good but I think I missed that bit out but they're quite worn out they're quite blown out it's no excuse but I mean for me this from way this reminds me of Wales, Backpot Wales, South West Scotland. So, oh my God. But you've got to commit. That's the most important thing. I wasn't committing. So, even though it's slidey and a bit slippy, you just got to commit. It's a bit muddy here. So you might get a bit more grip. some trail that some trail that's my initiation into Ludenville yep full on that's all I can say for me full on but I'll be definitely uh, riding these trails again So if you've enjoyed my video, please hit the thumbs up and for more mountain bike and travel videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And this is where we're parked, this is where we're living. So literally right at the bottom of the trails. Perfect. Happy days. Hello Rex, oh Momo, did you hear me? Oh, myself, good boy, hello, hello. Oh, you're a little bit more tired, aren't you, than you normally are, eh? Hey.